Hey guys, we're testing out a lot of different strikes that are really dynamic and destructive. So we're professionals. We train on this stuff all the time. Don't do it at home. As a SEAL for 12 years, I learned quick that testing and evaluation are critical. I want to have the zip ties knuckle to knuckle. You have no idea what works and what doesn't until the bullets actually start flying. And now that I'm out, I get tons of people asking me all the time about their favorite TV shows and movies. What's realistic and what isn't? Well, there's only one way to find out. It's time to put Hollywood to the test. I'm Dom Rosso, and this is Media Lab. On this episode, we're gonna talk about how using hallways and channelized areas can be used to your advantage. Position changes everything, and with the right position, you can go from being vulnerable to a position of complete strength. But first, we're gonna check out a scene from the movie The Rock that I absolutely can't stand. Surrendering to the shower room, sir. Drop your weapon! Drop them! Get in back! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! It's a trap. Your unit is covered from an elevated position, Commander. I'm not gonna ask again. Don't do anything stupid. Stand fast! fast. Hey, you order your men to safety the way! That scene was completely BS, and I had to get that out there because people ask me all the time. Obviously, Hollywood doesn't necessarily understand the tactics and what those guys are doing. From their capabilities, they can definitely get out of that situation. A little bit of covering fire, they could have bounded and got back in that hole and, and got out of there. We're not gonna explain that one. Positioning is everything, and what we are gonna talk about how position can help you is in a new scene from the movie Born Legacy, and we're gonna have Dylan here and the guys from Trident Response Group gonna help us break that down. But first, let's watch it. So these guys get set up, they come into this open area, right? So why fight all three of them at the same time? Maybe he's trying to put a little space between him and the girl too. So the first thing he does, you start using a little bit of verbal judo, you see the nonviolent posture come up. Yeah, we're in the middle of a sampling audit. It's not safe for you guys to be here. Yeah, he totally uses that deception to make these guys drop their guard a little bit and then uh, brings them down this area. So he's gonna call their boss, right? Get some thinking. All right, so we talk about multiple attackers, and in this scene from Bourne, these guys come in the office. They're obviously, he's trying to de-escalate it. He's using a little bit of verbal judo, but one of the best things that he does here is he takes all these guys down a channelized area. So why fight all three of them at the same time when I can take them down and string them out one by one? So that's exactly what he does. As he starts talking, keeping his hands up, not being very violent, and he starts walking down the alleyway here. The first move that happens, he puts his hand up on his shoulder. So he opens him up to the inside and goes right for a nut shot. And then he goes to a clinch to slam this guy on the ground. Now in the movie, he only used one hand. Sorry, Jeremy Renner, you're not that big. So I think you're gonna need two hands, but he grabs him two hands, does a clinch slam down to the ground. This guy produces a pistol and as he does that, he grabs the wrist, clears his body of the line of attack. And now, once this is trapped here, this is probably the worst move in the entire fight sequence, is he does a full pirouette doing a couple of things wrong. First, he just turned his back on this guy, so now he lost sight of what he's doing. But he's also sweeping the chick that's back here. And if you're doing any weapons manipulation or you're doing a takeaway, you always gotta be aware of where's your family, where are the guys you're working with? Because his finger's on the trigger and he's letting off rounds, she's gonna eat lead. So after he traps his wrist here and he does, does that pirouette, he does a sidekick to this guy, makes him eat his own pistol. And if you've seen Kelly McCann's system, which is, this is where I've learned it from, but he does a chin rip, which he wraps all the way around here, hunting for some eyes or nose, or the bridge of the nose opens this guy all the way up to expose this midsection, does a hammer fist down on the solar plex, turns to this guy, does a throat strike. And then as his hand starts coming up, he, he grabs here, Grabs almost in a half clinch. He turns him, locking this arm back. Once he grabs a pistol, does a quick strike to the back, throwing him in the glass. Tap rack, you're back in the fight. Now he's got everybody splayed out here in this channelized area with one of the pistols. And now we're gonna break it down full speed. 
I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you. I'm gonna call your boss and we're gonna figure it out. Watch us. Hey, hold on a second. <laughs> All right, guys, so we broke that scene down from the Bourne movie. It was awesome to show you that position is everything. Even if you're not a skilled fighter or you are, you want to get yourself in a position where you can string guys out. We brought them through the hot gates. It worked out really well. In that channelized area, chances are you're going to be throwing some really short strikes and attacks when you're in a really narrow environment. When we did that spinning move, he ended up sweeping the chick that he was with. You want to stay away from trying to sweep the other people that you're with. Be aware of your environment. The scene that I did like uh, was when you took my gun out of my holster. You know, most likely everyone's always thinking about their gun and not getting it taken away, but when you start twisting my arm up high, and I was thinking all up top, that's when you pull my pistol from down low. So I thought that was a pretty cool tactic to use. Absolutely. Fellas, appreciate it. Always good to be having you guys on here. And, uh, yeah. Oh. All right, you guys have been asking some awesome questions on social media, so let's see what they are today. What's the best meal I've ever had? That's just ridiculous. That, I don't post anything on my social media about what food I ate or any of that, so get next question. What's the best point to bring up on someone who's anti-gun? Well, the first thing I bring up is personal safety. It's family safety, criminals, threats, they all exist, right? So to get that point across is very important to make people realize that there is threats out there just because they live in a great neighborhood and they have low crime. Like, what does that even mean? It's always the people that say, I never expected that it would happen to me, right? So that's a great question. That's something we're working really hard to get people to understand about. So thanks for sending the questions in, guys. Love breaking them down, love answering them, and see you guys next time on Media Lab.